How do I overcome anxiety? How do I stop feeling anxious all the time? Well, over 40 million Americans are asking that question every day. Well, first we need to understand what anxiety really is, and I love how the dictionary defines it. Anxiety is simply a feeling of worry or unease, typically about an imminent event, something with an uncertain outcome. So I've simplified it to this. Anxiety is fear of the future, an unwarranted fear of the future. Now, some of the symptoms of anxiety are feelings of uneasiness, we're nervous, we expect the worst. That's where I lived much of my life. I was always expecting the worst to come. We can be restless, confused, panicked, irritable, helpless. And if we allow these symptoms to percolate over time, they can lead to full-blown panic attacks. Now, what's a panic attack? It's that moment in time where you just have this overwhelming sense of helplessness, this feeling that you're not in control. Now, this happened to my wife, Gina, just recently when she stepped in the back seat of a Volkswagen Beetle. If you notice, there's no back door, there's no easy way to exit, and if you've ever been in a Volkswagen, you know that's a very small, confined place. And as she sat back there, all these different thoughts started racing through her mind. What happens if we have a wreck? Will I survive it? What will my kids think? And all of these thoughts started to build up, and as they did, feelings of anxiety started to bubble up inside of her. She started to sweat, her hands started to feel clammy, and her stomach started to tie in knots. So bad that she finally had to ask the driver to stop, let her out, so she could exchange positions and sit in the front seat. And when she did, she was able to uh, refocus her thinking and when she refocused her thinking, her anxieties started to calm down. So that's what a panic attack is all about. Now, as we said, anxiety is a feeling, and we need to know some things about our feelings. We need to know some truth about our emotions. Well, here are four facts that will be helpful to you. First, emotions always follow thought. Second, emotions have no intellect. Third, emotions cannot discern between fact and fantasy. Now this is very important as far as anxiety is concerned because we're worried about the future. We're painting scenarios or scenes in our mind about the future that are bleak and our emotions can't tell if that's fantasy or fact. They just merely respond to that picture we're putting in our mind about the future. Also, emotions cannot tell the difference between the past, the present, and the future. We can think about something that happened to us in the past, and our emotions respond as if it's happening to us right now. So emotions always follow thought. You feel something because you think something. It's that simple. It's that clear. So what's the solution? If we want to overcome anxiety, we need to change our thinking. We need to start thinking about what is true. Jesus said this, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. The truth will set you free from emotional bondage, will free you from anxiety and enable you to experience peace that passes understanding. So what is truth? Truth is this, you are not alone in your feelings of anxiety. As I said at the top of the video, 40 million Americans suffer from some form of anxiety disorder. God knew all about that, and through the Apostle Paul, he wrote, do not be anxious about anything. He understands that we worry, and that worry can become excessive and lead to anxiety. And he says there is a solution. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. There is someone that is in control, and we can actually learn to trust Him in the midst of our circumstances. Now, the second truth we need to know is that God loves you. So we have come to know and believe the love God has for us. God is love, 
and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. God is love. God loves you. And that's true regardless of your circumstances in life. Now, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Love is the solution to anxiety. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. Anxiety is a fear of the future. The love of God can cast that out. And normally we're thinking the worst because we expect punishment to happen to us because of some sin that we've done in the past. So sins of the past make us think about future punishment. So what is the solution? The cross of Jesus Christ. This is real love. Not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. God has already dealt with your sins once and for all through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. You don't have to fear punishment. Why? Because your punishment went upon Jesus. All of it leaving absolutely none for you. That's good news. You stand before God as a forgiven person and God is not counting your sins against you. That's something to give thanks for each and every day. So your sins have been forgiven. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. If you're in Christ Jesus, there is no condemnation for you. And that's a rock that you can anchor your life to through thick and thin. So what does that all mean as far as your anxieties are concerned, as far as your fears for the future, as far as your uh, overwhelming sense of helplessness or the thought that you're not in control? Well, you can take all of those and cast them upon Jesus. Here's what Peter had to say, give all your worries and cares to God for he cares about you. That's the solution to anxiety. When those feelings of anxiety start to bubble up, step back, give thanks to God, cast those cares upon you. He cares for you and you will experience the peace of God that passes all understanding. I'm Bob Christopher and that's how you overcome anxiety.